we welcome you to the sixth video to the sixth video of graph theory which is on minimum spanning tree so prior to this in fifth video we have discussed what is the spanning tree and then we have discussed what is minimum spanning tree and the method to calculate minimum spanning tree i told you there were two methods one was kruskal's algorithm and one was uh, prim's algorithm so today before studying kruskal algorithm by following kruskal algorithm we'll solve some question i'm always following reverse engineering first we are solving the question and after that we'll understand the algorithm so in that uh, what will happen you will feel a uh, algorithm much easy because you have all the concept that how this algorithm is working so let's start with Kruskal algorithm questions so Kruskal's algorithm question so what is Kruskal algorithm is used to find minimum spanning tree so uh, you know that a graph in a graph there can be more than one spanning tree but minimum spanning tree will always be one so uh, their shape could be different but it will be only one so Kruskal uh, uh, minimum uh, weight will be only one is used to find the minimum spanning tree for a connected weighted graph the main target of algorithm is to find subset of edges by which we can traverse every vertex of the graph fine spanning tree is what where which contain all the vertex no fine Kruskal algorithm follows the which approach which I already told you greedy approach which finds an optimum solution at every stage instead of focusing on global optimum no so it is a greedy it find greediness you can see the greediness at every stage it will not wait for entire stage to come and then it will show its greediness no it will show its greediness at at the at 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 every stage fine so let's start you have a you have a, a graph you have a graph where there are five vertex and uh, there are some it's you have a weighted graph you know that you can apply Kruskal's and uh, prims only on a weighted graph and so you have a weighted graph and now apply the Kruskal's algorithm on the graph given as follows you don't have I know you don't have any idea of Kruskal algorithm so let's start what Kruskal algorithm is so Kruskal algorithm says first of all do one thing uh, arrange all the edges and arrange them in a sorted order so finally we'll consider this all the edges in sorted order in that is a b uh, the age the weight of uh, first which is uh, which is minimum then second then third and fourth and fifth so the uh, the a weight of a b is one so uh, it will take its first position the weight of d e the weight of d is two it will take its second position then b c and like this so you have arranged all the edges according to their weight you have uh, arranged all the edges according to your weight in increasing order in increasing order fine so this is what you have already done you have done so first step is in from the given graph make a table containing edge and weight and arrange them according to increasing order fine you did this this is the first step of Kruskal's now what do you do now what you do uh, then what you do you have to select one edge you have to select one edge edge by edge from increasing order so what what to do just make a because what is a spanning tree the spanning tree is a tree which contain all the vertex of a graph to make so what do you do make all the vertex of a graph so I'm making all the vertex of a graph the first vertex is B I have making make exactly like that a then C and then you have D then you have E and then you have A fine make only the vertex not edges make only the vertex and now start you no know, connecting the edges so first of all you connect one AB so the weight of AB is one so connect AB and assign it weight one fine then connect DE what is DE uh, this is DE the weight of D is 2 fine so I have connected then BC the weight of BC is 3 connect BC while connecting make it sure that there is no cycle because you know a spanning tree does not contain a cycle so BC is not forming forming a cycle I'll, I'll, uh, I'll select BC then CD what is CD 4 is there is there any cycle no there is no cycle so CD till CD everything is fine now AE if you select A the moment you select AE, it will be a closed path. It will be a closed path. So you will not select AE. So I will not select AE. Then AC. Can I select AC? The moment you select AC, it will again form a closed path. So I will not select AC also. So I will not select AC. Can I select AD? The moment you select AD, there will be again a closed path. So you cannot select AD. So you cannot select AD. So finally, so the tree which you are getting from the given graph is this. So this is the final tree. What is? This is a final MST minimum spanning tree and the weight of this spanning tree is add all the weight 1 3 4 4 4 8 and 10 so the weight you have to tell the weight the weight of this spanning tree is 10 now your question your the question might might be coming to your mind is that will I get only one shape of minimum spanning tree no you can get more than one weight but 
make it sure the minimum spanning tree weight will always be 10 what i am trying to tell you is that suppose there are two or three weight having equal weight suppose one 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 you are getting three times and just because of one one you are getting a cycle so you will not select that one fine so uh, you can select any one first suppose this is one this is also one and suppose this is also one so if you arrange then all the three nodes will come in order so it's up to you either you arrange a b in first then or you arrange uh, C D first then you arrange D it could be of any order and might be possible that just because of one node having weight one uh, cycle is creating so you can exclude that node so but it is fact that minimum spanning tree will be of 10 weight shape could be different but weight will not uh, change fine okay let's solve one more question so you here you have a question apply the crucial algorithm on the graph given you have given a graph and what do you know about Kruskal algorithm? You know one thing very well that Kruskal, that is a uh, uh, spanning tree is a tree which done, does not contain a cycle and which does not contain a loop. So here in the above graph, there is a cycle and there is a loop. So what we can do, we can exclude. So before solving, why to waste our time? Why to waste our time? Just Ex just exclude this so what i did i excluded this you know the uh, uh, parallel edge and loop and what i did after removing i have made this arrangement and what is this arrangement crucial algorithm first step so what is the first step that arrange all the edges all the edges according to their weight in increasing order so by using this graph i have made this table so hope you the table is clear to you that is first first edge is bd why bd because the weight of bd is weight of bd is 2 see weight of bd is 2 now you can see dt the weight of dt is 2 suppose the weight of bt suppose the weight of bt is also 2 in that case you can no you use bt over here too but you can take it in any order either bt can come first bd can uh, come later so uh, you can no rearrange this this is not a uh, 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 clear cut rule that you have to take bd first fine okay but what why i'm trying to tell you this in this case if all the nodes are of weight 2 then it will form a cycle so we have to exclude any weight either this either this either this fine so this is what i wanted to explain to you fine so let's start solving this question so what we do we for what we do what we actually do we make a graph we make a graph what having the same vertex so let's make the vertex s let make the vertex i'm so sorry let make the vertex s make the vertex a similarly as the graph has b and then t and then c and then d now take one edge in increasing order and try to connect and while connecting keep in mind there is there is no cycle so first bd what is bd 2 so i connect this bd and make the weight 2 so i've selected bd then dt what is dd dt this 2 is there any cycle no so i'll select dt then ac ac is there any cycle no so ac is 3 i'll select ac cd cd while connecting cd there is any cycle no no cycle so i'll connect cd and make it 3 cb what is CB? Can I connect CB? No, I cannot connect CB because the moment I connect CB, there will be a cycle. So I will not connect. I will discard it. BT. What is BT? B and T. Can I make BT? Can I use BT? No, because if I connect BT, there will be a cycle. So I will dis no, I'll, I'll discard BT. AB. Can I use AB? No, you cannot use AB because the moment you select AB, there will be a cycle. So I will discard AB. SA. Is there any cycle no there is no cycle you can select sa so sa is 7 sc can you select sc no there will be a cycle so i'll dis uh, discard this so this is our final final mst this is our final mst now weight of this mst 7 3 10 10 3 13 and 13 and 4 is 17 so the weight of this minimum spanning tree is 17 so what i was trying to tell you suppose the weight of this is 2 suppose the weight of this is 2 and you have selected bt first so in that case you will not select this again this is mst again the weight is 17 but shape is different so this is i wanted to tell you that what what the meaning of different shape shape can be changed but weight will remain same that is if 17 then 17 minimum spanning tree so this is all about crucial algorithm question in next video that is in seventh video we'll discuss crucial algorithm